Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about this loading screen and the new promo that we are getting in FIFA Ultimate Team on Friday. We got our first taste of it today. EA is again teasing us with a loading screen like they like to do so many times and so often. They give us these loading screens and kind of show us, hey, this is an upcoming promo. It just builds hype, builds panic basically. People start selling cards and it's crazy for the market and we've already had a crazy market anyway. I'm wearing a hat today in the video so that I can have some protection from all the prices that are dropping, man. Stuff is dropping out of nowhere. But without further ado, let's talk about this upcoming promo. So Rule Breakers is what this promo is called and that is because of the information that Footwatch tweeted today. I can confirm that the new promo is called Rule Breakers. EA accidentally leaked it into the code. What do you know? EA leaking things. Who would have thought? But this is the only thing that we know about this promo so far. We have like the ins we have the outside lining of the promo card. That's about it. Uh, we have these three letters. But again, I guess this is actually spelling out rule breakers, which is very interesting. Uh, this is a brand new promo. We literally have no other promo in past FIFA history to go back and look on and kind of think of, hey, what could this promo actually be? We're kind of going into this blind, right? It reminds me of the Summer Heat promo last year in FIFA 20, where we were getting loading screens for like three or four days ahead of time, and we had no idea what that promo was going to be like. Uh, and it was so interesting to see everybody's ideas, everybody's thoughts. So that's kind of what's going on right now on Twitter and across, uh, you know, FIFA social media is what exactly is this promo? What does rule breakers mean? What kind of cards could we see in the game? And why aren't they doing ultimate scream, right? Maybe we're going to have ultimate scream like next week. Maybe this is a one week. Pro I don't know what's going on, man. I really don't. But this is new info. And it's very exciting and pretty interesting, not necessarily for prices dropping on the market. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But uh, one kind of um, prep or I guess opinion you could say off of this is by FootSpy on Twitter. Uh, Rule breakers in football terms are often players who achieved certain things from unnatural positions, i.e. Kuman and Hiero are referred to as rule breakers due to the scoring prowess from defense, right? Now, I think there was a post below this tweet. Uh, I am French said Van Dyke striker is back or Harry Maguire striker is back. So like we could be having a lot of position changed cards or like, honestly, we have no idea what is happening with this. And it seems very interesting. I'm actually a little bit excited for it, right? Ultimate Scream would have been fun. But this seems pretty cool as well. So we will see what happens with this promo in a couple days. But as of right now, we don't have that much information. One thing I would expect to see is I would expect to see an updated promo screen and an updated loading screen as we log into foot at least one more time. At least today on Thursday at 6 p.m. UK. That's usually when EA do this. They update the loading screens. They give us more information. They'll probably put some like coordinates on this and, and you know, make you go like lead you to some geographical location or something like that. Th that's often what they do with these loading screens. Uh, they'll probably give us the rest of the card and then the name, and maybe even they'll give us like a couple stats. So I would expect some updated loading screens in the next 24 to, uh, you know, what is it like 48 hours, I guess less than 48 hours when this promo would come out. Cause it is going to start on Friday at 6 PM UK. So that's kind of the only information that we have right now. How is this impacting the market? Well, as you can guess, people are freaking panic selling their houses and everything they have right now to get coins ready. Because every time people see something like this, they like to panic sell, right? The market was kind of chilling today, man. And then look right here is when EA tweeted bang, which have a massive drop off after the EA tweet. And just a lot of stuff is getting absolutely destroyed right now on the market. We look at the popular page on Footbin. Uh, we have an out of packs, Marcus Rashford. This guy was just at 188. Timo Werner gold card is out of packs. He's at 210. This is like the lowest that he's been. Um, the informs today, I mean, there's a lot to talk about that happened with the market today, but uh, in general, it's just a lot of panic selling. And I'm glad that I mentioned to you guys waiting to buy your cards that you wanted to look at for Thursday flips, waiting to buy that stuff uh, until today on uh, or late in the day on Wednesday, because now you're getting to buy it at these prices. Will there still be a market rise after awards today? I believe there will be. I, I do believe there'll be a rise because people have to play division rivals, right? They have to get their as most games in as they can before the weekend league starts. And then people are trying to get weekend league games in as well. So I do believe on the high tier, the meta out of packs cards, are probably gonna do decent today after rewards. And part of that is just due to foot champions rewards are tradable, right? And that's part of what's gonna impact the market today 
is there's going to be a lot of tradable supply. So if you haven't made any buys yet, I still think there's some there's some good buys that are out there, man. You can definitely look into the higher rated uh, categories of players in foot, and especially ones that are very OP. Like this Timo Werner gold card out of packs, I know his inform right now is very, very cheap. And that was Team of the Week 4 uh, came out today. And it's actually crazy, almost the amount of supply that some of these cards do have. Timo Werner had pages upon pages of supply first day first day for an 86 rated inform like this whose gold card is 200,000 coins probably like the, the second or third highest or lowest pack probability highest rated and like most meta card in the team of the week uh, and this guy had pages upon pages of supply. It seemed really, really messed up today. So that's one thing we're going to have to remember about Team of the Week 4 is that it seems incredibly, incredibly supplied. So definitely watch. Even these cards that are in Team of the Week 4, they're obviously very hyped up. I mean, this is the whole team right here if you want to take a look. Obviously, you guys know about this. Rashford, Werner, Depay. Um, Delaney center back cards, pretty interesting. Florenzi was very interesting today with the ones to watch movements. If you sold those in the hype, GG's. Same thing with Osimen. Uh, how does Zlatan get on the bench, man? An 85 rated Zlatan Ibrahimovic gets on the bench. He doesn't make it in the squad ahead of like Danny Olmo, like EA Sports. Come on, man. Give Zlatan the dynamic. I, I don't, I don't need a dynamic Danny Olmo. Give me a Zlatan dynamic image. But anyways, uh, Delaney, Rashford, Werner, Depay are probably the standouts from this. I mean, Florenzi is a really good card, but the reason why he's so cheap right now is just because of all that supply and, of course, his once-to-watch card being panic sold as well. I think that's honestly pushing his card down even more, but that's actually a pretty pretty sick-looking card. Even as like a, a super sub midfielder for like 15K, or you start him at right back and you move him into position in game, that's a pretty, pretty sick looking card right there anyway. But again, the market is trending down literally everywhere. We have out of packs informs that are dropping. Uh, and honestly, I do think this stuff rebounds uh, after rewards, after foot champions rewards. I do think it does rebound a little bit today. But then after that, I mean, into the afternoon on Thursday, if there's any sort of content on Thursday that comes out with the tradable players, uh, tradable pack supply or... Um, you know, any sort of SBC, or even if it's new information regarding this promo, I would expect to see the market probably fall even a little bit more. And, you know, we still have those, uh, the UCL packs, right? This is a foot watch. This account right here. Let me see if I can go find that pack code really fast. Uh, we, oh, we had the La Liga and player of the month design that was added and updated in the code today, but we had this pack code. This pack code right here with UCL two player packs, UCL three player pack, uh, UCL two common 81 plus UCL rares like these packs did not come out yet I don't know if they would drop this the day after both Champions League games are done right after why would they drop this on Thursday? But they could or they could be saving this for next week when there's games that are coming next week as well uh, But if any of this stuff would come today or more information about this promo uh, Then you definitely could see more crashing in the later stages on the day on Thursday. So I do expect to see a market rise in the morning. Uh, you might not see it here on the flipping graph because a lot of these cards that are already low, uh, even a guy like Ndidi or Ricardo Perea, Richarlison, Adama, some of these guys that are still maintaining a decent value probably are going to get hit in price pretty hard. Uh, but players like Joe Gomez, he might take a dip at rewards. Like look at this Rodrigo, bro. Out, He's back into packs now because his ones to watch card is out of packs. This guy has gone from 30,000 coins. He's he's literally almost been cut in half. 30,000 coins down to 17k now in packs. This Rodrigo gold card, even though he's one of the most OP like lower budget strikers in the game, it's crazy how some of these prices have dropped. Abom Yanks 215. Wow, man. Wow, this is crazy. So I do expect some of these gold cards to bounce back. I'm honestly, they literally have to because people are going to buy them back for their weekend league squad. So very meta players. I, not, I like Wijnaldum. Even on my transfer list right now, I've got some Wijnaldum. I have a couple Fabinho's because they're high rated, right? They're not going to get packed that much at rewards. And they're still going to be desired for a lot of people's weekend league teams uh, th this weekend. So just kind of keep that kind of stuff in mind. I like the out of packs informs, honestly, the best. If you can find some big dips on these, even Harry Kane is down a decent amount. St. Maximin's 269, that is down. Uh, did I look at team of the week one? Uh, Lozano is up because of the links to Osaman. Ben Yedder is 465. Wow, that's crazy. That's really low. Vardy is low. Gomez is low. Bruno is even pretty low. So just kind of watch this stuff today, man. I do think you will see it rebound a decent amount in the first couple hours 
of today. But again, this market is really just in like a crazy time where a lot of stuff just keeps dropping. The icons especially. Now, I have not been following the icons super duper closely, but this Etel card right here was once like 2.3, 2.4. And then earlier today, he was down. Wait, what? Nah, I'm thinking of the wrong card, man. I'm thinking of the wrong card because it's the baby Eto that I think was around 2 mil. Yeah, this one right here. This one was like 2.3, 2.4, and he's all the way down. He's 2.1 right now, but he was 2 mil flat earlier today. So some of these icons are still fluctuating a decent amount. I do expect some of those to probably rise with rewards today a little bit with people getting the tradable packs. Uh, but if you're looking to make some investments, I'll show you even what I have right now. Uh, I've got some Fabinho's, so Wijnaldum, a couple Alex Tellez. You know, if you're watching this video right now, you can even look for some supply at rewards too, right? Like um, players that are kind of lower rated that are still very hyped up, like a Joe Gomez, who would be a center back that a lot of people in this game are probably still gunning for to get in their teams. Joe Gomez right now is 90, like it looks like 93,000 coins. Like right now he's 92K for Joe Gomez. You might be able to sit here and snipe this card at rewards and see undercuts at 90K like this. Okay, yeah, see, I'm not going to win that, obviously. But you might be able to sit here during rewards and find undercuts three, four, five thousand 5,000 coins below. And if you find a 5K undercut on a 90,000 coin card, you're already making profit instantly because after your tax, of course, what is it, like 4,500 attacks right here? And then he rises up anyway. You're chilling. So the preface of this video today, boys, is honestly just to tell you, do not panic sell, all right? The market is going to rise up a little bit this morning, uh, and I do think it's going to be fine. Um, after that, of course, we do not know what's going to happen with all the content that comes out today, just in terms of, are we going to get SBCs that make the drop, the market drop more and what is going to happen with all of that? Uh, this, this wants to watch Florenzi card is kind of dropping lower still, but I kind of don't, I, I don't like, or I don't, I don't dislike this, a double negative there. I don't mind this as an investment, right? Because buying some of these cards after they do get upgraded, before when, when all the panic selling is coming tr coming in and really coming in hot, uh, you can make some coins off of these cards, right? What is Osaman? Osaman is 23,000 coins as well. Uh, and this card looks pretty decent after an upgrade. And of course, he is still, uh, he could still get another upgrade, man. The next time this guy gets it in for him, I think 82s go to 84s. I think 82 rated is go to 84s and they get in for him. This guy's 23,000 coins. If this guy goes to an 84, he's going to have 90 plus pace. He's going to have mid 80 shot, over 80s dribbling, mid 80 physical with four star weak foot, high, high, six foot one. This would be a pretty dang good card. So the next in for this guy might even rise up on his own after all is said and done. Um, you know, in the next couple of days with all the panic selling ending. So whatever promo it is this weekend, one thing to keep an eye on and to keep in touch with is going to be these ones to watch cards. Some of them are down a lot from all this panic selling, right? These guys have games this weekend, bro. Even, even Spurs. Spurs play today on Thursday, right? Of course, they're probably not going to get upgraded, right? It would be hype based. But if Gareth Bale were to score a goal today, I guarantee you it's once to watch Carbo shoot up. So that's honestly something to look at today uh, and just keep in mind. And especially as we head into this promo, these guys have games on Saturday, right? Some, some teams, um, I think it's Leeds. Leeds even play on Friday. So be careful of that with some of these prices dropping. Like Allen's down 10K. Suarez is down 10K. Tellez is down 10K. Bale's down like 20K. And once to watch said too, what about these guys? Havertz is 300. Sané is down. Rodrigo's chilling. Uh, Samedo is kind of chilling too, but just Ferran Torres scored today, I believe. But just kind of be careful of these ones to watch. Is do not forget about them. Do not forget about them because these could be big time market movers this weekend as well. With uh, with games still going on and a lot of hype around Champions League cards, or sorry, not Champions League ones to watch cards uh, and stuff like that. So I don't know why Footbin is listing Florenzi at 20k when he was definitely like 21. Uh, but I know there's going to be a lot of people sniping these cards and trying to invest in them. Can I snag one at 20? No, nah, there's no way I can. So, uh, yeah, just be careful with these ones to watch. I do think they'll rise back up. Uh, and be careful with the content today. I would try to get all your sales out uh, as soon as you can, honestly. Get them out soon. Stay high rated because those cards are going to get packed less. But people are going to want those more uh, if they are very meta cards, very popular cards uh, in this game. So good luck with your rewards. Hopefully, we get some more information about this new promotion called Rule Breakers, all right? Hopefully, there's some sick cards. I'm sure there'll be some uh, concepts and stuff on Twitter that we'll take a look at in tomorrow's video as well. But 
We'll see what Thursday has to bring us. Besides rewards in terms of content, I would expect another loading screen related to this tomorrow. And hopefully we just get some more information from either leaks or wherever we get our information from. Hopefully it's just from EA, right? EA, just tell us what it is. Give us the webpage link or whatever. Hint a few cards, right? And uh, hey, we're back in the swing of things, man. This is just a sign that the, the FIFA grind is back, right? Promos every single week. Probably going to be a two-week promo, right? You know the way EA does things. So we shall see. If you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel for new. It's been Nate, the Ford Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.